In this video, we're going to talk about one of my favorite subjects to talk about in Madden 22, and that is motion over trips tied in. That's right, we're going to be talking about trips tied in through the lens of motioning and utilizing this formation that starts out with a strong trip set to the left, and we're going to turn this actually into a balanced 2x2 two two that actually has a strength to the right side of the field with motion. So I'm really excited to talk about this concept and show you a great route combination today out of this concept. Now, if you are new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and consider hitting that subscribe button down below it is completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on the youtube channel now guys when we talk about trips tied in i've got a full ebook on this this has been my favorite offense probably for the majority of the last two to three years because what it what it really allows you to do is it allows you to create very solid spread passing concepts via motion which is one of the things that i really love about this formation is that we can utilize motion snapping and we can utilize spacing to either have trips to the left to be able to have tray open to be able to have five wide or to be able to have double sets which is what we're going to be talking about in this video so if you want to learn the entire offense in the link in the description below is a link in my pa to my patreon my Patreon membership allows you to get access not only to my Trips Tied In ebook, but also to all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks. We've got 18 guides in there that will walk you through step by step how to run them as offenses or defenses. In addition to that, we also provide with you uh, updates to all of those ebooks whenever it's necessary to update them. Uh, we typically update the Patreon once a week. Uh, or I'm sorry, at least once a week, normally more than that, uh, with more content for those ebooks. We actually just released a one hour and 15 minute update to our 335 wide defense. So we're always updating the membership. The, all, the other thing is by joining, you also get access to any new ebooks that we launch while your membership's active. So for just $10 a month, you get access to a ton of material that is gonna help you become a better Madden player. So if you are uh, looking to get better at the game, be sure to join that Patreon. Again, it's only 10 bucks a month, and I think it's a great $10 purchase for you if you're trying to get better at the game. Now, the concept that we're going to be talking about in this video um, is actually a spinoff of the PA Counter Go. Really, we're going to be taking a look at this more through the lens of a uh, kind of a levels concept uh, that I really like to run out of this. So, trips tied in, PA Counter Go is the play call. And um, this is, so what we're going to do here is via motion, we're actually going to motion uh, across a player, turn this into a two by two set. So I'll show you real quick, just for an example here, we're going to motion this guy across the formation. And you're going to notice that this is going to turn the formation into a doubles type of set in which you can do a lot of different things with this concept. We're actually going to create a shallow crossing concept uh, within this kind of Y cross type of setup, which I'm really, really excited to do. So what that looks like is we're going to put our outside receiver here on a smart routed in route. We're then going to drag our tight end and we're going to motion our number two receiver in the trips to the right side on a uh, fade route. And we're going to let him set his feet. And all we're going to do here is this is how we're going to run the concept. We've got great pass protection because our running back is going to be blocking. We're going to force them to drop their zone drops to deep depth on the right side of the field. And we're also going to have this nice little drag route to our tight end, which is one of the best routes in the game. As you can see, it's going to be able to beat man. It's also going to be able to beat zone. And one of my favorite things about this drag route is it's going to be able to attack two to three different levels of a defense. So as you saw there, that's cover four. Now I'm gonna show you cover four uh, with hard flats. And again, this is a very simple setup. You don't need Howard Master. You don't need anything to run this. But the beauty of this is you're gonna get a nice clear out on the left side. If they bring the coverage up, then we can easily throw our crosser over the top just like that. So if they're gonna play underneath on us, we're gonna be able to hit them with stuff like that. What they're gonna then do as a result of that is they're going to go to this Mabel coverage that you might have seen before in Madden where they're gonna use double flats on both sides of the field to basically play defense. What I like to do in this situation is the exact same setup. And what we're really looking to take advantage of here is again, the middle of the field is gonna be open. This crossing route can be thrown at multiple points and that's something really important. 
So you'll see here our tight end. We look, okay, there is underneath coverage, but now we can throw this ball right in this little window here. And as you can see, it's going to get over the top of the majority of the zone coverages. The other thing that I want to point out real quickly about um, about this, this uh, tight end route in particularly is if they don't have a yellow zone, if they don't have a yellow zone and a hard flat, and I do mean hard flat, because what's going to happen is that the curl flat is going to actually go to the deep dig on this play. So if there's no hard flat here, you'll see this curl flat is going to get sucked upfield, and it's going to allow me to throw this drag over here and be able to attack the defense in that, in that scenario. So let me show you another example of that. I'm just going to check to a basic uh, a basic cover three defense. And what you're seeing is we're going to get almost kind of like a dagger concept similar, but we're getting a high low between the in route or the deep dig and the drag. So we're looking here, clear out first. No, come back over here. You see how that curl flat sticks inside and we can throw this route um, with a pass lead to the outside to the tight end drag. The tight end drag is a great route in this game specifically for things like match coverage as well. Um, you're going to see that it's going to be very effective against match coverage again i can't stress enough how good that crossing route is you really want to be looking there but you see how open that tight end drag is against match match coverage is going to basically completely leave it and that's what makes it so good they can't one of the adjustments that a lot of people like to do against trips tight end is they'll basically take that outside quarter flat and they'll put him in man coverage on the triangle receiver well when we motion this guy across the formation it just makes it more difficult to do that so you'll see here, now there's no one over here, and I can pass lead that to the outside, and you see that the tight end can be a great route. So they have to bring their coverage down. Well, whenever they bring their coverage down, whether it be out of cover three or cover two, um, what you're gonna notice with this route combo is the yellow zones and the underneath, it's all gonna jerk down because this drag is gonna pull zones down in the down underneath and it's going to allow that route right there to come in behind it which is a great read for your uh for your spacing of your route combo so i really like that high low i think it's one of the more underrated uh high low concepts in this game now again we're creating a strong to the right look but if you think about it we're actually a very balanced uh pattern distribution in terms of how the routes are going to work together so let's say that for example that we get some cover two on the right. What you're gonna notice here, first and foremost, from a cover two perspective, once again, your dig is gonna come underneath all of these zone coverages. So very simple little check down. Now, the other thing that I like to talk about here is let's say that the ball is on this hash mark. So let's say the ball is over here on this side of the field. When they run cover two, and oftentimes they're gonna have zone drops, now you're gonna have the whole right side of the field to be able to work your uh, fade to Scotty Miller. It's an outside releasing route. So what you're going to see here is he's going to release to the outside. He gets on Once he gets on top of that guy, you can pass lead that with an outside pass lead and get that over the top of the, of the uh, cover two defense. So it makes it more difficult for your opponent to be able to run a cover two coverage against something like this. You're going to get a lot more cover three, cover four. But the problem with cover three, cover four is now you put them in a position where they have to guard the um the dig which is all the way over on the other side of the field so their user gets kind of caught because you can throw the crosser right in that little pocket right there because the cloud's not going to be there right the cloud's going to be outside more so now their user is in a situation because let's say that their user uses the crossing route um into the throwing lane of the dig so he's going to use you that crossing route until the cloud flat can cover that route properly. Well, notice something real quick about this. Notice the slot corner has shifted to the inside. That's one thing I want you to notice. The second thing I want you to notice is he's gonna be using that all the way to right in there where I can throw my in route. So this is a great little play. It looks like one thing. It's actually another thing a lot of times. And we're gonna show you over the course of the next couple videos, um, some concepts where you know you can, it looks exactly like that but then we can actually bring it back in another direction. For example, we could do something like this, where we're gonna do basically the exact same setup. The only difference is it's in reverse. And now you see we're attacking like this, and you can leverage the power of that dig, okay? So we're gonna get into that in the future videos, but that's where we're gonna hang out for right now. Great little concept. Let's talk real quickly, or real briefly, about man-to-man. -man. So if you get man-to-man, -man, your crosser should be wide open. Um, the one thing I will say about this is you're going to put the defense in an interesting position because 
Um, they're actually going to be in, in somewhat of a misalignment against two by two, ironically. Uh, so you see, you got something like this. Watch your tight end real quick. Your tight end is open right there. Your in route's open right there, and then your crosser is open over here. So again. It just really does a good job of putting the user in a position where he can't guard everything, and that's what makes trip tight ends so good, and that's really what makes spread so good. We want to stretch the field horizontally and vertically um, with our route distribution. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn more about this offense or if you want to get all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks in addition to any updates to them and any new ebooks that we release while your membership is active, join the Patreon. I can't stress to you enough, it's your one-stop shop for everything that you need to become a better Madden player. Again, there's a link in the description if you want to sign up for that. Just $10 a month will unlock everything over there, and uh, you'll be able to really, I think, improve your Madden game. Thanks for watching. If you want to sign up for the Patreon, head on down to the description of the video and click the link that I put down there for you.